Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to adjust your dead zones for your controller stick on Steam. What we're going to do is go into the game, we're going to go over to controller. If you're in game, you can hit the PS button and get to the same menu. We're going to go edit layout, go over to the left column, go down to the joysticks. Then we're going to go over to the right and hit settings. And then we'll go back over to the left column again, go down to dead zones. Now by default, it's usually set up as controller preference, so what you're going to want to do is click on that. You have the option for no dead zone, controller preference, or custom, so we're going to change this to custom. Now when we go down to this blue line, you can see if I click X, I can adjust this up and down. And you can see in the center of the blue dot above, that's showing how much further it has to travel before this stick will start moving or engaging. So you can make it as large as you want or as small as you need. Uh, what we're going to do is, normally I set it at around 1 or 2 on most games, but I do have a couple games where I have it set up at like 7 or 8. Um, so what we're going to do is hit circle, and then we're going to go over to the right, and then we're going to click on this. Now you can see on that end we're set up at 90. And then as I move this, you can see the blue gets smaller on the outer ring. So you have a smaller distance to travel before it hits the end of uh, uh, the ring. And usually that's by default on 90, and a lot of times I'll just leave this where it's at. There's a couple games where I've adjusted it, but not very often. Um, dead zone shape, it's default by circle. What we're going to do is go to square. Square is going to give you more uh, movement and you're going to have more of an area to work with. Uh, I, it seems to work a lot better, especially if you're setting up a left, left side uh, stick for your movement. Uh, it makes a huge difference on uh, it being square instead of circle. And, and let's see, we'll go, if we're going to do, do the advanced options, they're usually shut off. Um, that's going to be an anti-dead zone and anti-dead zone buffer. I hardly ever have used this. Uh, I've experimented with it a couple times, but really all you have to do is adjust this up here and that's usually good enough. The two main reasons why you're going to do this is for your left stick, uh, for your movement, how quick your character will start moving, um, or if you're on your right stick, a lot of times you'll have like a stick drift. That'll also get rid of the stick drift if you take that um, left side to a higher number. So, like I said, we'll go to custom, adjust your settings here, change it to square from circle, and then this is going to be your advanced dead zone options. So that's kind of all you really need to know on dead zones. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, and I hope this helped. Until next time. Have a good one.